up everyone it's chris here i'm thinking about doing a different type of category for the channel called thoughts because you know either i'm gonna tell you my thoughts from previous stories or i need help and today i need help because i'm thinking about attending 90s con and it's pretty much very similar to the comic con video i made where uh, i met the power ranger actor jason, jason david frank but today it's all about the 90s so there's going to be actors from all the 90s sitcoms from Saved by the Bell, Boy Meets World, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Family Matters, um, and even when it comes to singing, there's going to be freaking, I think, members of NSYNC, Backstreet Boys. So I know on my channel, I usually stick to one black shirt. That's for the brand consistency, so I could stick out a little bit. But obviously, I have other shirts, like way more of these shirts with prints on them from either sports or uh, pop culture. So today... I need your help. So I have 15 shirts already picked out, laid out on the bed. Let's get right to it. And I need help. Otherwise, I'm not going. I'm not going, guys. So first off, it don't get more 90s than this. Here it is. Bam. Blockbuster. I mean, I'm really thinking about keeping it simple, rocking this. <sighs> Good memories. We miss you. Okay. So next up, another iconic brand, one of the main ones, Nickelodeon, keeping it simple again. They don't make it like they used to. We miss you too. Here's another brand from the, from the channel. All that. Keeping it simple again. It's going to get more and more crazy as I lay these shirts out. All right. So here's another brand. Yo, MTV Raps. Come on. I'm thinking about this one too because it's so random and it's definitely 90s. Because some of these shirts I'm questioning. Wait, hold up. Was it 90s or early 2000s? Because shit, if it's 2000, then we're not counting that. Here's another classic one, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Now this, I'm definitely working on a review behind the scenes. I'm probably gonna upload it next month. I'm really excited for this. I'm thinking about wearing this too, actually, because it's another like random brand that was so great back in the day, but people just forgot about. Now this one, they're rebooting it, not rebooting it, but they're coming out with a sequel to this movie. Uh, the trailer looked okay, not as bad as I thought, but we gotta take the movie for what it is. But here, I have Good Burger. Welcome to Good Burger. Home with a Good Burger. Can I take your order? I might pass on this one. But here's an iconic brand that just came out with a new game. Mortal Kombat. This is fire. I might wear this. I like how it's simple. But I have another Mortal Kombat shirt right here. This one's a little bit more cool. A little more going on. You got Scorpion Raid and Goro. So I like that too. Now here we get into the more animated shows from Nickelodeon. You guys probably seen this shirt before. This is a very common, pretty basic popular shirt. But this, this is a little rare. I found this website online and I bought a few shirts off them. It's like, uh, they do like a little spin off of the Nike brand. And here I got this uh, Rugrats version. I got a few other ones. I think I got like Spider-Man and Hulk. So shirts like this are definitely cool to just wear on the weekends or if you're working from home or even if you're going to exercise, which I need to get back into. We're working on it. And then here I got another show. This is my question for you guys right here. Rocket Power. One of my favorite shows of all time. I love this shirt. However, I don't know if it's a 90s show. I need to look it up. You look at this, you're like, no, this is definitely 90s. I don't care. But it might be 2000s, like 2001, 2002. Or maybe it's 90s. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. This show too. This show too. A little wacky of a show, but Cat Dog. Very similar to Rock Power on the same time. I need to double check if it was like mid 90s. Because late 90s doesn't count. No, late 90s does count. But as soon as it hits 2000, 2001, I can't do it. This is a classic movie, Hercules. I believe they're working on the live action. Really like this shirt. Look a little rusty as hell once you get close up, but zooming out. Yeah, that's Hercules. Okay. Now, this is random. It's definitely a 90s show. I have a few other uh, different shirts of this show, <laughs> but I'm going to choose the most random one because you got to show love to Chef. You got to show love to Chef. Be who you are, not what's cool, said the man himself. So, you know who's... Now, Chef's up there, one of the greatest characters of all time, but who got him beat? That boy Jesus, not from South Park, but some random Jesus shooting a jump shot. I found this random company online. They just be promoting me shit. 
And with the damn Apple Pay, I'd just be dropping money like a jackass. So I need to work on that. Excuse me for cursing Jesus. But look, Jesus hit that jumper. Woo! Himothy. He is him. For he so loved the game, he always maketh plays. I'm trying to get back my jumper like Jesus. So I might just roll out there to 90s con rocking the Jesus shirt. Because don't nobody got the Jesus shirt. 90s or not. Let me know your thoughts. And if I'm going to go, you already know I'm going to do a video. And it's going to be fun. The video will probably be uploaded next year because I'm so behind on videos. But thank you guys for supporting. I think this is a different type of video. It's not really a rating review video, which is the whole point of my channel. But once in a while, especially as a permanent YouTuber, you got to do these wacky videos where it's more social, more off the top of the dome, more freestyle. You guys want to say hi to Rolifer? There's the Rolly boy. There you go. Chilling. He don't care. He just don't care. I just had to upload this back-to-back -back video because as you watched from my previous video that I just uploaded about me asking you guys for help on picking out a shirt for me to wear to 90s Comic-Con. I need help with that, all right? So help me pick out the shirt. But then I forgot, hello, I got all these hats that I've been collecting and I've been wearing in my YouTube videos. And obviously, you know, I wear the black shirt. So you might think, dang, he only got one shirt. I get it. Probably not. But that's like the brand. I get it. But then... I got the hat, so I try to wear a different hat per video. And the reason being, you know, it's pretty obvious, you know, cause we're just, we're collectors. Not cause we're bald, it's just we're a collector. Anyways, I need help on also picking out a brand from the 90s hat. So here we go, enough with the talk, and we're gonna start off with the FUBU for us by us. Yup, shout outs to my boy Double D. He, he hated me in fifth grade cause I wore the same FUBU shirt every day. This is an iconic, hip-hop brand from the 90s if you don't know look it up i see drake trying to bring it back i'm not sure if that's gonna work but if they have a blue shirt i'm gonna buy it here we got iverson hello now this is a i bought this like recently but this is a hat i had from when i was a freaking kid oh man iverson paved the way for nba culture we see today definitely one of my idols growing up uh, and he was definitely the man in the late 90s, early 2000s. So that's 90, this is all 90s related, right? Now this also is definitely 90s related in regards to music. This is Rough Riders, one of the most legendary groups ever formed in the, I think, mid 90s, late 90s. DMX, I believe Jay-Z was up in there. Look them up as well. They definitely paved the way for rap music. And here we got one of my, not one of my, this is my favorite team right here. Denver Broncos. I don't even follow football, but back in the day when I was a kid, I loved football. So as you can see, 98, Super Bowl 32. Back when Terrell Davis and John Elway, those were my, I swear y'all, I have like so many collectibles from the Denver Broncos from the late 90s, early 2000s. So if you're a fan, hit me up. Here I got the 90s uh, X-Men hat. You know they're bringing back this show, the animated show. Disney Plus is making like a new version of the animated X-Men show. I'm really excited for that. I live in Florida. I don't know why I keep buying these fucking hats. I mean... I do go to New York once in a while, so it does get cold. Here is the pretty obvious one. I love this one. Just bought this recently. Uh, Nickelodeon. So obviously I showed you guys the shirt with the Nickelodeon brand. So I thought this was cool too. One of the best brands uh, of cartoons growing up in the 90s. Here I got Sonic when it comes to video games. I mean, iconic, you know, definitely iconic uh, video game character. So I might wear that. Here, we're getting more into movies. I don't know if you guys are ready for this, but here we go. Bam, Pizza Planet, pretty basic. You might've saw this hat before, but uh, yeah, you know, from the first Toy Story movie, Pizza Planet. And then here I got another iconic movie, completely different from Toy Story. Now we get into grown folk business, but back to sports, love and basketball. One of the best movies of all time in regards to just, you know, those are the best movies, in my opinion, when they could cover all the emotions from happiness, sadness, uh, motivation, uh, failure, everything. That movie encapsulates everything. Here's another movie that doesn't encapsulate, encapsulate so much. It's more so action, drama, some humor in it for sure. But it's legendary nonetheless. Jurassic Park. So if you want, uh, obviously, suspense, thrill, you have to watch the first Jurassic Park movie, which I actually did in theaters a few weeks ago for the 30th anniversary, I believe. Now, if you guys look here, it's green. I don't know why the hell I bought this hat like a few weeks ago, because with my green screen, anytime I wear a green hat, 
it freaking blends in. So I really messed up on the, the Mighty Ducks TV review. I don't know if you guys want to go back and watch that, but that was so embarrassing, yo. Oh, this is fire. Look at this. It's always cool when hats add these little features. You know? I love this. But I got to be mindful of the green hats. I got to stop buying this shit. But I, I love this hat because it's just... It's, it's retro, right? So here we go. This is also retro. I'm pretty sure this is the show that started off in the 90s. I know some people probably hate it. They think it's stupid. But I always have love for it. I will always have love for jackass. It's not because I'm a jackass. But you know who is a jackass? Back in the 90s, these guys, yes, they were considered jackasses, but you got to throw wrestlers in there. Wrestlers from the 90s had it going on. These guys, I don't even know what to say. We miss the 90s attitude era. I don't know why they can't bring it back. Now it's the time to bring it back more than ever with cancel culture. You got to flip the script. Like, I, I just can't watch wrestling. I saw the, yesterday, I saw they brought Dwayne The Rock Johnson back and John Cena. I'm just, I don't care. It's so obvious that it's fake. I need people all up in there throwing this shit in. Like, come on. You just got, you already know the sign. Suck it. You gotta, we need to bring this back. Have women do it, right? It's a feminist movement. Have women say suck it. Fuck, shit, like. Hey, I'm not the one saying, I mean, go look it up. But as a matter of fact, don't even look it up. But if you know about DX, whew, crazy times. Now, this is one of my favorite hats I just bought. Just tap it in. Happy Gilmore. This. Oh, this is another funky hat. Yeah, I see. I love stuff like this. Sometimes with these hats, they're more so like collectibles. You know, like something you could just show off or put on a shelf. Like something that just. It's like freaking artwork. You know, it's definitely dope. I'm not a golfer. I mean, I'm good at mini golf. You know what I'm saying? But not like a golfer. And I think it's because I'm too broke for that. Anyways, to top off my final hat. If you watch the shirt video, I ended it with Jesus Christ shooting the jump shot. Shout out to Jesus Christ. Also, shout out to Krusty Krab, my guy, Mr. Krabs. Now, I bought this hat randomly because I'm impulsive and stupid, but Mr. Krabs is that guy. I don't know if you guys knew this, but apparently the secret formula to the Krabby Patty is crab meat. And that's why he's afraid for anyone to get their hands on the formula because it's crab meat. He's the only crab in the show. That's a crazy conspiracy theory I found out online. I don't know if it's true or not, but Mr. Krabs about his paper, and that's what it's about. So these are the hats that I need help with. Please help me pick out a hat so I can wear it to 90s Comic-Con, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm so sorry, guys. I am back again because as I was packing up, I was cleaning up, I found these hats on the floor. I have to add them to this collection. I don't care because these are throwbacks for two reasons. One reason, not really this hat. Shout out to the Broncos again, but remember these hats? Yo, like, these were those hats... In like the freaking 90s, 2000s. I mean, I don't even know why. Because I wasn't bald back then. But now I'm bald. But like, this sounds, this looks like a crazy tan line. If you were to wear something like this nowadays. I mean, the top of your head just getting toasted. These hats were weird. They were cool at the same time though. It, it's hard to explain. This is a nice design. But this is not what I want to add to the collection. Because I already did the Broncos. Shout outs to and one as dusty as hell because i had this from way back in the day i just found this on the floor as i was putting my hats away but yo the and one brand from the 90s come on so i had to add this i don't care i appreciate you guys take care peace <music>